Introduction Do you know Rita is suffering from a skin infection? Has she consulted a doctor? Yes, doctor has diagnosed it to be a ringworm infection. But she feels really painful to open her mouth. She cannot even eat properly. Oh, poor Rita. Thank God, I am completely healthy. Just being free from disease does not mean that you are completely healthy. What do you mean? Health and disease are interrelated. But there are other factors that determine the health of a person. Let me explain this to you in detail. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Understand the concept of health and disease Identify common diseases in human beings Health and disease Health Health is defined as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Disease Disease is defined as a condition of the living body or one of its parts that impairs normal functioning and is manifested by distinguishing signs and symptoms. Factors affecting health Factors affecting health can be broadly grouped as follows. Genetic disorders Deficiencies with which the child is born Deficiencies defects which the child inherits from parents Infections Can be bacterial, viral, protozoal, fungal or other types of infections Lifestyle Food and water intake Exercise and rest pattern Other acquired habits Factors necessary to maintain good health Some of the important factors that are necessary for achieving good health are Balanced diet Personal hygiene Regular exercise Vaccination, immunization Proper disposal of wastes Vector control Maintenance of hygienic food and water resources. Classification of diseases. Diseases can be broadly classified as infectious diseases. Diseases which are easily transmitted from one person to another are called infectious diseases. Example, AIDS. Non-infectious diseases. Non-infectious diseases are those diseases that are not caused by pathogen and cannot be shared from one person to another. Example, cancer. Pathogens, disease-causing organisms. Disease-causing organisms are called pathogens. For example, bacteria, viruses, fungi, protozoans, helminths, etc. Pathogens invade the host adapt themselves in the body of the host, multiply and interfere with normal vital activities, resulting in morphological and functional damage. Common Human Diseases Some of the most common human diseases are Typhoid Pneumonia Common Cold Malaria Amoebiasis Ascariasis Elephantiasis Ringworm Infection Typhoid Typhoid Fever Cause Typhoid is caused by pathogenic bacterium Salmonella typhi Infects the small intestine Mode of Transmission The bacterium is transmitted through contaminated food and water Symptoms include Sustained high fever, 39 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius. Weakness, stomach pain, constipation, headache, and loss of appetite. Complications. In some cases, infection may result in intestinal perforations, death. Diagnosis. Typhoid is confirmed by the Weidel test. Pneumonia 
cause. Pneumonia is caused by pathogenic bacterium, streptococcus pneumonia, and haemophilus influenzae. Mode of transmission. The bacterium is transmitted by inhaling droplets, aerosols released by an infected person, by sharing utensils with an infected person. Mechanism of action. The bacterium infects alveoli of the lungs. Thus, alveoli get filled with fluid leading to respiratory problems. Symptoms include fever, chills, headache, cough. Lips and fingernails turn grey to bluish in colour. Common cold. Cause. Common cold is caused by rhinovirus. Mode of transmission. The virus is transmitted by inhaling droplets, aerosols released by an infected person while coughing, sneezing. By using contaminated objects like pens, books, mouse, etc. Mechanism of action. The virus infects nose and respiratory passage but not the lungs. Symptoms include nasal congestion and discharge, sore throat, hoarseness, cough, headache, fatigue. The symptoms usually last for three to seven days. Malaria Cause Malaria is caused by plasmodium, P. vivax, P. malaria and P. falciparum. Mode of transmission the plasmodium is transmitted through the bite of infected female Anopheles mosquito. Mechanism of action. The plasmodium multiplies within the liver cells and then causes rupture of RBCs with the simultaneous release of hemozoin responsible for the characteristic chill and high fever. Symptoms include chills and high fever recurring every three to four days. Fatigue. Amoebiasis. Amoebiasis or amoebic dysentery. Cause. Amoebiasis is caused by protozoan parasite and amoeba histolytica. Mode of transmission. The plasmodium is transmitted from the feces of infected persons to food and food products through house flies. Consuming contaminated food and water is the main source of infection. Mechanism of action. The parasite infects the large intestine of the infected person. Symptoms include constipation, abdominal pain and cramps, stool with mucus and blood. Ascariasis. Cause. Ascariasis is caused by round worm, Ascaris. Mode of transmission. The parasite is transmitted through contaminated water, vegetables, fruits, etc. Mechanism of action. The parasite infects the intestine of the infected person. Symptoms include internal bleeding, muscular pain, fever, anemia, Blockage of intestinal passage. Elephantiasis or filariasis. Cause. Elephantiasis is caused by filarial worms, which raria W. Bancrofti and W. Malay. Mode of transmission. The parasite is transmitted by the bite of female mosquito vectors. Mechanism of action. The parasite slowly develops in the lymphatic vessels of the lower limbs and the genital organs. Symptoms include chronic inflammation resulting in elephant-like lower limbs, gross deformities of genital organs. Ringworm infection. 
cause. Ringworm infection is caused by fungi, microsporum, trichophyton, and epidermophyton. Mode of transmission. The fungus is transmitted through soil, towels, combs, clothes of infected individuals. Mechanism of action. The fungus grown in the skin folds when heat and moisture is available to it. Symptoms include dry scaly lesions on skin, nails and scalp. Intense itching around the lesions. Prevention and control of infectious diseases. The following measures are necessary to be followed for the prevention and control of infectious diseases. Maintenance of personal hygiene. Keeping the body clean. Consumption of clean drinking water and food. Maintenance of public hygiene. Proper disposal of waste and excreta. Periodic cleaning and disinfection of water reservoirs. Observing standard practices of hygiene in public catering. Avoiding close contact with the infected person and their belongings. Control, eliminate vectors and their breeding places. Avoid stagnation of water. Regular cleaning of household coolers. Use of mosquito nets. Introducing fishes like gambusia in ponds. Spraying of insecticides at regular intervals. Placing wire meshes on the doors and windows to prevent the entry of mosquitoes. Use of vaccines and immunization programs. Did you know? Femtosecond laser can be used to detect hemozoin released by the malaria parasite in the human red blood cells. Hemozoin can be induced to emit optical pulses by using right wavelength. These optical pulses can destroy the DNA of parasite without harming the surrounding tissue. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Health is a state of complete physical, mental, social and psychological well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Most common diseases causing distress to human beings are typhoid, pneumonia, malaria, common cold, etc. Preventive and curative steps to control these diseases are Maintenance of personal and public hygiene Avoiding close contact with the infected persons Control of vectors and their breeding places Use of vaccines and immunization programs